I want to see the Alliance map. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Bassam and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I'll bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Kroindene by now. I should talk to Heidi about my next targets. Brother, brother, or is it the other way around? Gods, you're a sight to stir a weary heart. It is not his heart that's stirring. There'll be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Luvina, once again we battle side by side. Greetings from the north, old friend. And how is your? Still griping about the mess we made of Jorvik's council. But grateful for the help. To be honest, I think he's upset he didn't see the problem sooner. His pride is slow to heal. Thank you for heeding my call, friend. Sigurd will be grateful when he hears you have come. For your brother, I would upturn every rock in England. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Crone's Garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we are able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I'll not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. 
We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendini. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Sigurd's last. You had better be all they promised. Snake, Fulke hides behind walls of stone, but Eivor will drag her out. Still got a soft spot. Death is close. Did someone find the scout before me? Patrols the riverbank north of Crowley. Jesus, guard my blows! I've dealt with the others. There, a scout. Scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. A leader should not second-guess themselves. Nobody respects a tremble heart. I have known plenty as brash as you. Not many are left in this world. Fulke has news of Croindonen's fall. She's gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I am reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew. What's done is done. Save your breath for the fight. Fall back, you dogs! 
back to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! <laughs> <laughs> Soon enough. Is it for that? You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. I will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Eivor is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. He is dead, You will Eivor. regret this mercy. You are wounded, brother. Let me bear your brother to the camp. was always quicker than me. As I was saying... He was always quicker than me. Beat me out of the womb by mere moments. Now he has beat me to Valhalla. Even in death, he had to be first. This crow feast is my doing. No blame stains you, Eivor. He cut his own path. No always did. For him... There's no more strife and pain. Only glorious battle and the forever feast. Reckless stripling. I warned you the risk was too great. Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine, knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma... You come at a black hour. I'm too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Fulk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected. Strike swift. Gather your allies. Pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I do not need him to tell me when I have made a mistake. Brothia lies dead on my account. I am glad to hear it. The unexamined life is not worth living. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. 
The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stove, Juvena, ride there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. Besides, there are men of Vesex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. We will set off immediately. Together, we will fall upon them as Thor's hammer. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Suffolk. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildefort, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildefort. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uber, I need your axe arm at Gildefort. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I'll join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uber, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm a... How does it look? Crawling with Saxon soldiers like lice on a swine. The very sight sours my blood. Would the sight of their bodies in the mud please you better? One way to find out. Eivor, I beg you. Alfred's men or not, they are Saxons and Christians. If I could speak to them, we might avoid bloodshed. And lose the element of surprise? These people make their living by the blade. We should attack headlong. You know the people of this isle better than I, Stowe. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London, and this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London, we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking. He's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you... Ah! Brave try, friend, but now we do things my way. When words fail, Ira speaks loudest. with you, 
Banak! about destroying Fulkis supplies. Gildeford is a town of farmers and grain silos. Uber will be nearby. All is ready? We're a town of farmers and shepherds. This place bristles with swords. One of them is a thane by his dress. Serious men with him too. Went into the longhouse. If we take care, we might avoid drawing the thane's attention while we burn the grain silos. Ha! <laughs> Was that a jest? Bring them on! Been too long since I met a Saxon warrior worth half a shit. Soma, what is happening here? Bandits, taking advantage of the disorder in Suffolk to fill their pockets. Odin smiles on us today. Let us make sure this place is burned to the ground. Fulke will get no more weapons from here. We could charge in while they are distracted, but it would be safer to use fire arrows. We burn them from afar. 
Watch them scatter like cats. A sound decision. I agree. Archers! Take your positions! Stand ready, Eivor! When they see us, they will charge. This way. The best defense is to attack. Go! Get in their teeth! Move in, men! Storm the town! What have you discovered? Bridgeware swarms with guards, reinforced from the river. Word is that two of Fulke's finest oversee such matters. We should kill these leaders and burn their ships. Crippled and put to panic, their men will be in no place to join Fulke at Porchester. Frightened men look to their own interests. A good plan.
One down, one to go. The other should be somewhere in the keep. On my way. sailing for these Saxons. Indeed. Turn to our camp. Elderman Hunwald, you honor your father by answering my call. Swanborough sends her regards. My lady love, let her name be my flame of hope, for I confess the thought of this battle turns my guts to water. Fighting is easy. Just look your opponent in the eyes, then put an axe between them. Yes, I remember. Well, I have brought the best archers in Lincolnshire to lend their bows to your cause. Good. We will rain death upon our enemies today. Good work, Honwald. Be ready. Okay. So my yal's gonna. You seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Full Kay and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Porchester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As the keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once. Or you might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. I will not be long. Return when you are ready.
Beerston. I'm glad to see you again. How's your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elorich. He has not returned. I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I am sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I'll make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? Ever my staunch ally, Lufina. Are your men ready? They are. Bows strung and arrows fletched. We will harry the enemy from the flanks to keep them off your back. They will not have a moment's peace from us. I know I can count on you, Luvena. What are friends for? Uber, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lothbrok. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Your warriors are eager for battle. Are you? We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. Did you enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle! Die on these walls if you will! It is your choice! No wall is high enough to keep me from you! Then come! Clam your brother if you can! I shall wait with him! If you would find us... You need only follow his screams. Fulgay! What will the Skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blacken the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. How many battles and so few scars, Basim? What's your secret? I don't get it. Aha! Uh -huh. The simplest strategies are the best. Clear the way! Let's take down that palisade! Have your guts out! Arrows coming! Palisade! We have to 
knock it down!
keep is in sight. We must fight our way to it. We have the advantage. Uh -oh! I will not make twice. Taking him. Is this Sigurd's blood? Taking him there. Come on, Bassem. Face us, Fulke. Your cowardice betrays you. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Ah, brother, brother. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. Promise. For me, full K, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. Like six. 
Sigurd, then you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archer. Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl, and your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Okay, damn you to hell! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. Understanding that gift you gave him pain. Yes, to awaken him. Fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the wolves!
Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. Where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me. Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife, brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen, what I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war, a Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Where is Sigurd gone? What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. But he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past, it is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. 
My mind is a wellspring of prophecies. Visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Best tell her the good news. Right. An island of Carmen. My love, what happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast, and when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. 